Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome to All Things Delicious. Today on Brave Belly, I'll be attempting to eat these pickled pig's lips the proper way. So, those of you who've been following my channel know that I've already reviewed these. However, a lot of commentators told me that the proper way to eat these is with potato chips, specifically zaps. Okay, they're a, a potato chip from New Orleans. And apparently these are the ones to be eaten with pig lips. Peter Piper picked the pickle, pickle pill, blah. Anyway, so yeah, chips, I got the classic Lay's. They say these work well with it too. But since I haven't tried Zaps, we're gonna see what these are all about. These aren't popular from where I'm from. These are like New Orleans style. So we have the Thin and Crisp, which is like, I believe it's their, well, it says voodoo on it. Who knows what that means? Then they have the kettle style version. They have a kettle style voodoo heat. So the spicy probably will go good with this. But I also have Valentina for the spice and I have the classic Louisiana hot sauce. It should be enough. Yep, and this is their spicy cation rotator. So we'll see what that's all about. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So first, we're just gonna open up this big old jar and uh, we're gonna try them just straight up. So these are ordered online. I ordered from Amazon for a, from a spot called Farm Fresh Food Suppliers, pickled pig's lips. And then that's it. It's pig's lips in vinegar, salt, liquid hot sauce. Okay, so they're perhaps a little bit spicy. We shall find out. 140 calories per one piece that's a lot of calories nine grams of protein total grams 13 grams of fat anyway nope doesn't do that okay here we go what's it smell like just vinegar it tastes pretty good because there's it's vinegar a slight spice but there's fat like boiled pork so it's actually pretty good Okay, so the cool thing about these right off top is they're actually like rubbery. They're not like, they have some bounce to it. So you could actually chew into it instead of just slimy and like melty. All right, so check this out. The pickled pig's lip. To this day, I'm still not certain which part of the pig this is. Obviously, it doesn't look like a lip too much. Oh yeah, it kind of does. Like a celebrity lip maybe. But yeah, so looks hella intimidating. Like seeing this on a shelf in a supermarket definitely looks like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of laboratory experiment, some fetuses or something. It's just very intimidating. But I always grew up eating pork, not pork lips though. So here we go. Mmm. Very, very flavorful, not overwhelming with that with that vinegar. It's just a touch. It's absolutely delicious, guys. Check out how it looks. Very meaty. I was expecting this to taste like, like slimy and like that you could chew it with no teeth. It is tender. But you can get a bite into it. It's awesome. All right, so let's start eating this the way that you're supposed to, quote unquote. So I'm going to just rip it up into smaller pieces and let's start open up, opening up these bags of chips. This is my breakfast, by the way. <laughs> I know I'm hardcore like that, but I definitely wanted to eat something before work and I don't have anything left in the fridge so I found this in my cupboard and uh here we are all right so well first we'll do these I'm probably gonna eat all of them where's my napkin okay so first let's try it with let's do their regular regular thin and no yeah Zaps Thins, Thin and Crispy Potato Chips, New Orleans style voodoo. Pretty cool, they got the little voodoo artwork to play homage to the culture. 
Our New Orleans thin style chips are perfectly cooked to crispy texture, seasoned, dangerously daring, delicious flavor to deliver a bold and exciting snacking experience. You'll only find this unique recipe from Zaps. We thank you for buying our product. Enjoy like says le bon temps rouleur. I guess it's French. <sighs> yeah. Uts. Oh, Zaps potato chips is a division of Uts. If you guys know Uts, UTZ, they're like, they're like very big up north. They're like a tier below wise potato chips in my opinion. But yeah, they look pretty amazing. They smell pretty good. I don't know if I should spill it out here. Yeah, why not? This is how they look. Straightforward chips. Mmm. Very delicious. They are seasoned very well. I don't know what's their seasoning because it does taste uh, vegetable oil, sugar, salt, um, paprika, turmeric, garlic powder, citric acid. You taste like the brightness from the citric. Very good. Uh, paprika spice, natural smoke flavor. Very delicious chips. Mm. All right. So here we go. I've never had this with chips. Apparently this is how it should be eaten. Another way they do it is they take these chips and the lips and put it into like a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag and crunch it up. I figure this is a little cleaner. Mm. Very, very good. It tastes a lot better. They're already delicious. But the chips kind of like break up and balance the flavor of that vinegar and all that meat. Mm. Wow. That vinegar comes out. They almost taste like, it tastes like you're eating vinegar chips with a little bit of meat. Mmm. We're gonna move on to the next chips, guys. So let's try the Voodoo Heat now. Let's see if it's really hot. Cool little graphics. Definitely one of a kind. I was expecting this to be made in freaking New Orleans, but typical business. It's made by Uts Quality, Quality Foods, Hanover, Pennsylvania, of course. It's like buying a USA hat, and then in the back it says made in China. Not quite the same, but you know what I mean. All right, I'm just gonna throw these on top. And these are to look like kettle style. Yeah, they are. So you could see the difference between kettle style. They're a little bit, how can I explain it? See, they look flatter when they're not. Kettle makes them like, they look almost like a thicker cut too. Let's see. And kettle is a lot more crunch. Mm. Wow. I'm not a fan of kettle chips in general. These are amazing. They're more substantial. They're, they're crispier. The flavor is so good in these. Because mm. I usually feel like kettle chips taste oilier. These don't. Because I guess of all that flavor. So it overpowers the greasiness. There's no greasiness to it. These are really delicious all by themselves, but they're not very spicy, just a little bit. Mm. That's a lot of crunch, almost too much. The contrast is too drastic. It's like soft, tender meat and like this intense, crispy crunch. It's like a dramatic difference. I don't know if it goes as well as the regular chips. It's still good though. I don't know how they say these are spicy. Voodoo heat. Barely any, hardly. All right, let's see about these. These are the spicy Cajun crawders. Crotators, whatever that means. Mm. 
These are also kettle cooked. I guess I'm just mixing everything up. I know which section I'm taking them from. These look more peppery. See the little speckles of pepper? Oh yeah. They have a crab taste. Definitely like a seafood boil taste. See, when I see Zaps, I'm expecting something like very, very like New Orleans type, like very Southern, like some crawfish or something. And this is, this is um, the taste that I'm expecting. Very good. I must say the regular, the plain ones are delicious. These are just more like exotic. Let's see how the crab goes with the pork. Not bad, but it's not like the synergistic. It's two dramatic contrasting flavors. One is kind of like, like I said, like a crab and one is straight up pork. I feel like those are two, you know, different meats that aren't necessarily the best together. Although a lot of fish boils have sausage in them. So, hmm. All right, we have two more. We have the Lay's and we have the classic. Let's see the classic real quick. This is the kettle, classic kettle. I guess it's just called New Orleans kettle style voodoo. I guess by voodoo they're referring to their, ooh, look at this big one. We're not wasting that on its lonesome. Check this little hors d'oeuvre out. <laughs> Ain't that something? Mm. I must say, I think these are my favorite kettle chips because I'm not a kettle chip connoisseur. But the, the zaps are bomb. We're going to do one more of these. With these, I would say it's the similar to the other ones. Uh, that are kettle, they're just like too uh, crunchy. So the contrast is like too dramatic. Mm. Mm. Let's do them all. I knew this one's gonna be tough. Ugh. We'll figure that one out later. All right, the last one, and then we're gonna try it with hot sauce. All right, the classic lace. People have also recommended the classic lace. One more they said is about like the ruffles, but they had cheddar, cheddar ruffles. I'm not eating cheddar with freaking pig's lips. Okay, I'm wild, but <clears throat> not that weird. Okay, look at this big old chip. I'm not gonna eat this one. I'm gonna eat it with that. I've never been like crazy about regular ass chips. The only time I'll eat these is like with a sub sandwich. That's very flavorful. Even then, I don't reach for these. I'll take the baked instead. But since people recommended these, let's see how it goes. I mean, now I can't really rip that. Look how gnarly that looks. It's got the little baby hairs too. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but. Mm. The flavor and taste is 10 times better than the actual look. So gotta get past it. Mm. See, that's good. Because that chip isn't so intense and crispy. It's just like light. It tastes very good. I would say the Lay's is probably my favorite or the original Zaps. We're going to grab some of the original and compare now. This is still the Lay's. Mm. Mm. 
get on the bottom for some of those originals. Sorry about the mess, guys. Here they go. Now I'm going to compare and see which one do I like better. Mmm. The original Zap snaps. Mmm. Way better. Because it actually has a good flavor, you know? It's not a plain chip. And the flavor is just right. It's not like overwhelming and overbearing. It's just, you know, a little bit of paprika. Goes really well with the pork. Mmm. So I'd say the hot sauce would probably be good with the completely plain ones that have no seasoning. So let's find that. Let's let's uh, see about that right now. All right, so first we'll do the Louisiana style. My hands are all wet right now. Hard to get a good grip. All right, not too much. I used to be in love with like Louisiana hot sauce, especially it goes great with rice and beans or rice and pigeon peas. I love it to this day, but I've been eating Valentina more lately. I feel like it's, you know, the thickness of it. Mm. Wow. I tell you, Louisiana hot sauce and pork goes so well. That was absolutely delicious. Oh, I see. This is the Sweet Baby Ray's brand, by the way. Okay, now we're going to try it with Valentina. And I'll give you my final impressions. Ooh. See, this is more like a Mexican hot sauce. Mmm. Wow. Okay. This is good. However, for this type of food, for pork, we got to go old school with Louisiana hot sauce. It tastes phenomenal. And this is heavy on the vinegar base, so it just goes together very well. Guys, I can't... How the hell am I going to get that out? There we go. All right, so now let's go back to the original Zappos. Zaps, I keep on calling it Zap, Zappos for some reason. Okay, and a little bit of hot sauce. I think this is the move right here. Check that out. Mm. And now I'm going to do the lace. Yikes. Here we go with the lace. Put it on the actual pork. Check that out. Mmm. Wow, see, the Lay's is good too. The Lay's is actually really good. Because then you get the true essence of that pork, that vinegared pork lip. You don't get any, you know, extras, extra seasoning. Sometimes that could be overwhelming. They're both good. So if it was up to me, I'd recommend either the Lay's or the original Zaps, regular chips, not the kettle. The kettle is too crunchy and too thick with it. Okay, last by going in, guys. I just want to thank you all for watching, especially if you stay to the end. Please leave me any suggestions, recommendations, what I could do to, like, uplift the channel. I consider everybody's input because, you know, many minds are always better than one. So I'm very open to that. Please hit that subscribe button because I did get a sense that a lot of people aren't getting notified about all my new content. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Signing off.